You have just seen these little guys flying over us, an airplane and a satellite carrying an imaging spectrometer. But how do these systems function in general? Let's have a look. The details of sensor materials and design vary with the wavelengths of interest, and optical system and detector dimensions depend on engineering constraints in specific spectral regions. However, most imaging spectrometers are constructed according to the same principles. A front optic collects the upwelling radiance emerging from the observed target or scene, and a dispersing element splits the incoming radiation to produce discrete bands. Thereby, two general types of systems are used for air and spaceborne observations. Diffraction gratings that use an optical component with a periodic structure splitting and diffracting light into several beams sent in different directions, and prisms that use the dispersion of light into its spectral components by means of, well, a prism. Other spectrometer types are narrowband adaptive filters or interferometers. After spectral separation, a detector assembly converts the integrated irradiance of each pixel into an electronic signal to be amplified and processed by the sensor electronics. Finally, an analog digital or AD converter transforms the signal to be stored as discrete digital number values, representing the image pixels. Thereby, a scanning process converts the radiance received by the sensor into a continuous, time-varying optical signal. There are different scanning systems with resulting differences in data acquisition principles and properties. Regarding imaging spectroscopy, push broom or spatial scanning sensors are most common in airborne as well as spaceborne systems, whereas Wiener and SWIR detectors are often separate instruments. A push broom sensor records the radiation across the entire swath in a cross track direction, but only for a narrow field of view in a long track direction at once in a single measurement. The recorded radiation is split along the spectral direction of the detector array into hundreds of continuous wave bands and read out the array before a new line is recorded. In order to represent the along track dimension, the sensor platform moves along track and performs these single line measurements at a frequency that covers the surface line by line, ideally without gaps. Push broom sensors allow a relatively long integration time without major technical effort and mechanical components. However, place higher demands on the recording parameters, calibration, and post-processing. For details on data acquisition at different platform and levels, please see the other videos we have produced for you in Lesson 2 of this MOOC.